Hello there, I'm Jo Price and welcome along to Property Pundits here on Property TV. Joining me today is James McGregor, who is a mortgage broker and director of Mesa Financial Consultants. Welcome, James. Hello, thanks for having me. Now, what is high net worth? So high net worth is, I guess, a determination of a customer based on their asset value or cash holdings. Um, and a lot of lenders look at high net worth borrowing as a million pound plus in lending. And what are the implications with borrowing that much money compared to, say, 500,000 So um, normally what happens is, first of all, the market that will actually do the lending is reduced massively. And secondly, how the lender looks at this particular part of borrowing, um, they're really stringent on how they underwrite it. So they really look at the full situation um, and dig a bit deeper. Okay. Off the back of that, we're also going to be talking about complex income structure. What does that mean? So a complex income structure could be, for example, your self-employed client that isn't drawing any funds from their business. So on paper, it looks like they're receiving very little income, but they have retained profits or they have other areas or they could have overseas income that is coming in, which doesn't actually show anywhere. So it's unravelling that and understanding how the client derives their income as a whole. Now, there's more and more self-employed people in the UK than, than ever before, really. Uh, and we often hear it's difficult to get mortgages. Is that true? No, not so much anymore. And this is a big cliche that people say, or we hear in the market, that it's really hard for self-employed. They need three years' accounts. But we are often doing, on a weekly basis, one year's accounts, um, using money in the business to look at servicing the mortgage. So it's... I'd say it's a market that the lenders are really opening up to now, as they, a lot of more people are becoming self-employed. Well, that's certainly good news. On to another market as well, is it people investing in the UK who perhaps live abroad. How complex is that? It is extremely complex, <laughs> um, but it is possible. Um, f so, and again, it's really about understanding what their income structures are against what they're borrowing. So, for example, this year we helped a US client buying in London, they needed to borrow two and a half million. All their assets were wrapped into a trust agreement. So it's in really, the US? In the US. So it's really understanding where the income derived from in the US, understanding professionals over there, and getting them to really point out and be clear that they're going to draw the, mon uh, the funds that could pay for the debt. OK, great. So speak to a broker. Sounds yeah, like I'd say it'd be ideal in that situation. <laughs> OK. James, for now, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.